Yes, it seems that Apple really listened. So if you're not familiar with the background of the story, please just go and watch these two videos. Getting the iPhone 16 Pro Max was kind of a mixed bag of experience, but it was even more frustrating because it had two big issues. One was related to the touch screen. So when you were using the phone, holding it like this, just covering this area here, where we have the famous camera control button. All right, let me just show you. So this area here, when you put your palm on your finger there, you are blocking the whole touch screen. And this issue was very, very annoying. I did a whole video about this. It's not only me, it was a lot of people. Yes, it wasn't really pleasant. But what was even more unpleasant was the fact that every time I was just using the camera and approaching an object, an icon would pop up. Now, this icon will invoke the ultra-wide camera that is actually this one here. Yep, for what reasons? Well, for macro photos, because with the iPhone 16 Pro Max, you can get really, and I say really, really, very close to an object. And the issue was that, yeah, when this mode was invoked, the camera just crashed. And even worse, because when you were shooting a video, right, with this mode on, it was problematic because then the whole video will crash and I had to like manually disable this icon here to be able to shoot my video and getting close, of course, then not being able to utilize the macro camera for video, let's say the ultra wide. Now, first things first, how do we know guys it's the ultra wide? Let me tell you how. Now I'm gonna go to 0 to 5, which is the ultra wide and I'm gonna place my finger here, right? So now we can see ultra wide is that, all right? And when I press the main sensor guys, we have a picture. Right, so ultra wide, my finger is here, so I'm covering the ultra wide. When I go to 1x, yeah, we can still see something. Now, how do I know that the macro uses the ultra wide? When I get close to the object, all right, let me just try to focus it a bit, which is tough when the ultra wide is covered. Yep, see, the ultra wide. Now I cover my finger, and indeed, I know that the macro mode uses the ultra wide. Because I've seen under discussions apple.com a lot of people were saying hey why the hell are you using the ultra wide you know we're using the white for the camera no guys it's not correct it is indeed the ultra wide so apple released an update to the out of the box ios 18 which came with the 16 pro now it's 18.0.1 and this update provides of course bug fixes and unlike samsung sometimes only sometimes they have a proper change log our screen may be temporarily unresponsive in certain circumstances on the 16 and, and 16 pro models which includes the max camera may freeze when recording macro mode video on the ultra wide camera in 4k with asia turned off and then some other things and yes there was a remedy there was like a workaround i am now without hdr and it did the thing if you still wanted to use the macro camera in the video mode you should go in the settings and turn the hdr but this wasn't a good solution so right now i can confirm that the issue has been fixed all right why well i just go here i invoke the macro I go back, I switch to the main sensor. All right, let's check though the video. All right, so now I'm shooting with the main camera. All right, let's see what happens there. Can I invoke, oh, now you see the camera switched. So they change it. It's not so sensitive as it used to be. See here, this is the first switch. And if I have to show you the second switch happens here. All right, oh, now again switch. So video is still on. We can confirm now that indeed this issue has been fixed. And now what about the touchscreen issue? Well, let's test this. How do we test this? And one of the best ways to do so is just open the settings and put your finger here, all right? This is kind of the area that did the problem. I'm also gonna play a loop from the previous video, how I experienced this issue. No problem whatsoever, all right? I can try also with my palm, all right? See, if I do it like this, of course, I block the whole screen, but with my finger, it should be pretty responsive. If I put my finger like this, it should be pretty responsive. We can test it also on the lock screen. Some people said that it did not affect the lock screen, but in fact, it did. So right now, I can indeed confirm that these issues have been fixed, and people, relying on good macro photos can just go and do the update. And believe me, the macro mode is just very good. I mean, if you get a shot right, you'll get shots from very close. I'm not able to get so close with the S24 Ultra, for example. The other thing is, apparently Apple do listen. Honestly, they should have never released this at the first place like this. But even though respect to Apple for fixing this, I believe it took them like two weeks to be made aware about the issue because a lot of people were even returning the old iPhones because of this camera ultra wide macro thing issue. Not an issue anymore. So good job, Apple. And I really hope that in the future, you know, like you put a bit more effort when you're releasing a new product that really costs 1,400 euro. Right now, absolutely stable. You can see starting with the 1X, going here, 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 right, boom. This here is the switch, guys. And now pay attention. All right, this is gonna be the second switch. Oh, see, second switch. One more time. 
Ok, ok, ok. Click here. What happens here? Come on, do the switch, man. Do the switch. Ok, switched. Yeah, now pay attention, guys. Alright, no switch, no switch, no switch, no switch. I'm gonna click here, here, one more. Oh, and now we do the switch. See, this is the switch. So as people say, all is well that ends well. And in this situation, yes, respect to Apple, they did a good job. And if you think that I'm doing a nice job, then support the channel. Thank you so much for watching VST over and bye.